Hey you guys, it's Rich here with Hounds Bay and today I want to talk about what is a shoe tree, why do you need to use shoe trees, and how do you use them. So first of all, what is a shoe tree? When I ask people this, some people know and some people have no clue. They think it's um, a tree that you hang shoes on, which if you Google shoe tree you'll see that's actually that's like a thing. But what we're talking about here are these these blocks of cedar wood which smell really good. They're made out of the, uh, the, the pink part of the cedar tree. It has the oils that make it smell good, it repels insects, and people put them in their shoes because it preserves the life of your expensive dress shoes. You spent hundreds of dollars on your shoes and you want them to last. So we'll get into that in a second, but why, why do you need to use them? Why won't your shoes last without these things? So the average guy, this is we're gonna get gross here, the average guy sweats about a pint of sweat out of his feet every day, I just spilled some sweat on me, every day into his nice shoes. So you can imagine what all this sweat soaking into your shoe during the day does to your shoe. It can deteriorate the leather and ruin it over time. So the idea with a shoe tree is you want to soak out that moisture and at the same time the shape of the shoe tree is going to preserve the shape of the shoe. So how do you use a shoe tree? Well there's two different kinds. There's what's called a split toe. You see as you push it up here it's going to gently expand the toe and then there's the vented toe. This is a little bit bigger. It's designed to be the perfect shape of the inside of a dress shoe and it's got these vents in it here to help evaporate moisture. So let me show you how to put in one of the split toes. So at Hounds Bay here we, we found out that the best kind of a handle is this hook handle. You just kind of grab it like this and you, you insert it into your dress shoe and you just kind of pop it in here. So you can see there how it just kind of goes in and as I pushed it in here the toe part expanded and the expansion is creating gentle pressure right on the outside of the walls here of the shoe and that pressure is going to prevent these wrinkles that you can see on people's shoes. It's going to prevent wrinkles from forming here as the sweat and moisture evaporates. So something else I want to show you, our shoe trees are the kind of shoe trees with a wide heel and that's very important because when you're when the it's shaping the back of the shoe if the heel's not wide it's going to it's going to destroy the back of the shoe take a look at this cheap shoe tree it's got a narrow heel here and if you if you use a, a cheap shoe tree it's going to just kind of push into one corner of the back of the heel and it's going to mess up the back of the shoe so you know the cost the cost from a cheap shoe tree to an expensive one is a couple of dollars so you know if you spend hundreds of dollars on your dress shoes I recommend don't go cheap on your shoe trees. So to get it out, you just grab the hook handle and you just slide it out. So um, same thing with the vented toe. It's not gonna it's not gonna split as it goes in, but it's a little bit wider and bigger to fill that shape of the inside. Something else I want you to be aware of. A nice pair of shoe trees, there's a right and a left shoe tree. It, they're not, they, can't be they can't be switched into each shoe. The way you tell, you hold them up like this and you can see they get higher as they go on the inside, just like a foot. And then they sort of taper off down here on the outside. So when you're putting in your shoe trees, make sure you're putting the right shoe tree into your right shoe. So, and you can see wide heel. All the shoe trees we make here at Hounds Bay have a wide heel. So that's going to be the sign of a, of a good shoe tree. So then you just kind of pop it out. So, so that's shoe trees, guys. Um, if you don't believe me and you don't think they work, we're actually doing an experiment right now. If you go to houndsbay.com slash blog, Sam here at Hounds Bay is doing a year-long experiment where he is using a shoe tree in his left shoe and he's not using a shoe tree in his right shoe. And he, through taking really good photographs of the shoe, he's documenting what's happening to the right shoe without the shoe tree over time and to see if the left shoe looks better and is preserved. So if you want to see if it's working, go to houndsbay.com slash blog and check that out. 
Another thing, when you're using shoe trees, you wanna leave the shoe tree in your shoe for 24 hours. What this means is you can't wear the same pair of shoes every day if you wanna properly use shoe trees. So you should have at least two nice pair of dress shoes and you alternate every day. Some people have three or four that they alternate through throughout the week. But make sure you're leaving your shoe trees in for 24 hours to get all the moisture out and preserve that nice shape of your expensive dress shoe. One more thing you should be doing if you want to take good care of your shoes, when you put your shoe on, you shouldn't be jamming your foot in and your heel smushing down the back of your shoe. You're going to destroy the back part of your shoe, just like you will with the narrow toe shoe tree. So when you're putting on your shoes, use a shoe horn. There's all kinds of shoe horns on the market. Here at Hounds Bay, we make a nice stainless steel one with a comfortable handle and super easy to use. You stick your foot in your shoe and you your heel slides right in and that way you don't mess up the back of your shoe. So get yourself a shoe horn if you want to take care of your dress shoes as well. If you want to pick up a pair of Hounds Bay shoe trees, just go to Amazon and type in Hounds Bay and you'll see all of our products and check out our shoe trees. You can also go over to our website, houndsbay.com and check out what we have going on there. Thank you so much for watching our video about shoe trees. I appreciate you. Please feel free to leave comments if you have any tips of your own or, or if, let us know what you think about this video. All right, so go take care of your nice dress shoes. Cheers. Okay.